I'll wait till that car goes past and I'll see you again. You think it was city center or something? No. Okay. Go for it. Hey. Good morning, guys. It's uh, vlog number 15. The date is the 25th of February 2011. It's been a while. Today we're filming because we are going to Comet Camp. It's a Glasgow Film Festival today. We we're having our first preview of Night is Day there in front of a live audience. It should be awesome. And we're hopefully gonna go and film it inside. But we haven't asked for permission, so we're just gonna kinda go in and see what they say. Come with us to the CCA. whatsoever and the team were lucky enough to have top actors including Elaine C. Smith, Colin McCready and Simon Weir involved. Uh, really? Uh, um, yeah, um, I'm not going to go into it greatly at the minute, I'll just let you see it first of all. This is our sizzle reel, it's uh, 10 minutes of the movie. Uh, I'll just summarise Night's Day quickly, it's a superhero movie, it's set in Scotland. You've got your vigilante who's got lightning in his body and then you've got a big ancient creature called the Kaelic who is from the past and she comes to modern day Glasgow and wants to wipe us out. So it's essentially Jason and the cops versus the kayak and an evil businessman called Mr Phillips. So here's a selection of clips that were chosen and they're all post production work on it and um, I'm just going to let it speak for itself and then I'll ask any questions. Uh, me and Gavin will answer any questions. Early this morning, a man was found in a critical condition with severe electrical burns on his face and torso. Once identified, the man was wanted in connection with a series of suspected abuse towards his ex-partner. I'm here with Eric Stevens, who was saved by an unknown vigilante. Eric, what happened? Oh, it's pure mental, man. I was just about to put my key in the door, and this guy came out of nowhere, pushed me back, tell me not to go in, no? And was there anything unusual about this man? Oh, aye, aye. His eyes were blown like he was on something. To tell me I was in danger. He then kicked my door in. There was guys in my house robbing it. They were armed with guns. And this man who stopped you, was he one of them? Oh, no, no. No, he saved me. He pushed me back. He threw some sort of lightning or something. A wee bomb or that. No, I tell you, they ran fast when they saw that, though. So, does Glasgow have an armed vigilante on its hands? Well, I hear he's been going about saving young girls. And he's hot. I wonder if he'd save me next. We're live outside Martin Police Station where we're waiting on Superintendent Sloan to come out. We're hoping to get the exclusive on the official police line as to the supposed super-powered vigilante. Superintendent Sloan, Superintendent Sloan, is it true that there's a superhero in this city? Look, there is no vigilante with magic powers. There's no such thing as a superhero. It's a rumor, a myth, nothing more. Now, he's Lauren, with a lot of numbers. Lauren, it's back to you in the studio. Started off, started off as um, an internet series back in 2006, and Fraser had um, written two series worth, um, and then made well, the movie, which is a bit of a standalone, um, which can be viewed uh, with off the two series, which is uh, a nice thing. So we got involved, and this has been um, from pre to, and we're still in post. This uh, has taken about one and a half years of our lives so far. Put it together, and as we mentioned earlier, um, this was put together with absolutely no cash. Um, a fantastic team, which some of them are actually here today from uh, cameras to sign to uh, production assistants, photography, director of photography, and just general crew. Um, it's been a labour of love, it's been a, a passion for us to do, and 
a unique thing as well in the fact that you know we have a Scottish superhero with Archie Gemmell, which is nice. Um, and it's something that we feel is a little bit original. Um, it's not something that crops up in Scotland a heck of a lot, to be perfectly honest. And we've put this together to come today and you know, show you that it can be done and say, uh, you know, from the, the writings of Fraser and what comes out of the, this man's mind. It's a little bit scary. But apart from that, it's been okay. And we are open to many questions that hopefully we'll have with regards to the movie. We're just going to keep the slideshow <laughs> going with regards to the, photogra the photography that we took um, on set. So that's where we can open up the mics just to give you that little bit of a background to it. And we're happy to answer any questions. Please. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, what's, what's your plans with it now? Are you going to festivals or uh, got a distribution deal or anything? Um, at the moment, we are still in post production. Um, we just sent it off last night to the post production team. Uh, the plan is to take it to the American film market in November. We figure that's our best shot. Um, so the plan is go to the American film market in November and show an, a revised sizzle reel and take all the information with us. But all going well, fingers crossed, we're going to have a couple of screenings in summer or however far we're up to at that point and we'll invite everybody along to come have a look at it. And, uh, yeah, the Edinburgh Film Festival, they were interested in us but they're going for a lot of changes at the moment so we don't know what's going to happen there. Um, but yeah, that's the plan, we just plug, promote and hopefully, hopefully someone will pick us up. Now, my friend Carter's film, Flash Romance, is just finished and uh, he's got a distribution deal with Cineworld. That's yeah. one of the things uh, that they're doing. That was very impressive. You know, yeah. He's only gone for two weeks in Cineworld. Yeah I, know, and, yeah, I know Carter, he worked yeah. in the series with me and so it's very good that, you know, again, he came from nothing, he didn't have a lot of support or a lot of money either and he's been really lucky to get his romantic comedy put into Cineworld in the summer so that kind of paves the way for guys like us. It shows you that it can be done yeah. and that's kind of the hope that, that we have as well. Um, it shows you that, well, we've made it uh, to this point, um, we're not going to stop, we're just, we're just fingers crossed and toes crossed and Else the one across at this point for us, that would be nice. Um, but we shall just wait and see. So, anyone would be the goal, and um, definitely nothing about it. We need support, yes. It's like any other film that's made with nothing, you need support, and you've got support of a crew and a cast. But uh, with that, plugging promotion and so on, that's why we're here. Um, I was just about to ask, sorry, um, uh, what would you say has been the hardest part of not having any funding or external support apart from the crew, etc.? Uh, uh, parking, parking in Glasgow. On a Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> the, the hardest part. Um, locations. Uh, you, I mean, that's been quite difficult. In some cases, you've had, or we've had, in fact, uh, good support from certain, you know, uh, people that have helped us along the way, and then no support from others. Um, barriers put up in some ways, but uh, locations was a difficult one. Getting your actors all together. This. To give you an understanding of it all, um, all the actors involved and, and to a certain extent crew came on board and we filmed at weekends um, from June, July and August to get the movie complete. So having a 48, 46, 40, 56 casting, crew. casting crew all together um, to try and organise that on certain weekends. So you're bringing in so many actors to film so many scenes, then you're organising uh, venues or locations on top of that. So it's been a mammoth job. Um, my my other half, uh, my business partner Lindsay and I, we put that together for Fraser, the production side of things. So um, it's been difficult. Plus, um, I don't think I think that would probably be it. The, the, the most amount of headaches was would be that um, any kind of dramas that we had with. Yeah, cast or crew, we, we're, well, we're still talking, so you know, <laughs> we've, we've done a good job, I think, and we're all, we, we haven't killed each other yeah. just yet. <laughs> Fraser's are still on the stage sitting and standing next to me, so we're all good. Uh, what did you shoot with? Um, was it on digital SLR or, or film? Or, oh. Well, that would be the point where I could quite happily ask our, our, fan, our cameraman. Yeah. Who is the <laughs> currently filming. Currently filming. Si? Hello. Um, we actually shot on um, uh, EX3s, 
um, uh, sorry, we shot on EX3s with a 35mm depth of field adapter um, with normally a 50mm lens. That was kind of our normal kit. Um, sound, we actually brought in um, from another company in Glasgow. Um, but I was the cameraman, Greg here was the sound guy, uh, along with Gillian, um, who was great. She actually came on board a little bit later. <coughs> um, but yeah, that, that was basically our kit, minimal. But um, it seemed to do the job. <laughs> yeah. Minimal but effective. Yeah. Thanks, man. I think we've got time for uh, one more question. And I would encourage everyone to talk to uh, these guys afterwards. It's nice to see a grassroots film of this quality kind of being made. Uh, really, really kind of exciting. Here we go. Um, so, superhero film. Awesome. Made with no money. Awesome. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about maybe any difficulties or fears or whatever you might have had in um, putting together or having this kind of this tradition of the superhero movie and maybe what people bring to it is in expectation and then trying to put that together on such a minimal budget. Um, did you find like that that was an issue or what did how 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 were you dealing with that? I don't think I don't think with the minimal budget it was maybe so much an issue. I think just because we had such a dedicated team working behind it, who for a lot of us it was maybe first time round or starting out and we're just you know getting our teeth into it. As for fears, well, I mean I think we maybe just have that fear that we're looking at a Scottish superhero. It just doesn't seem to grasp you know the big Hollywood. Uh, movies with your big superheroes, <laughs> and um, this guy walks around in a pair of jeans and Timberland boots. It's just not quite your man in spandex. I don't feel the need, I don't know why I felt the need to do that. At the time, but, uh, not wearing any, by the way, folks. Just so if you want to come and talk to me later, you don't get that creepy feeling. But um, yeah, it's that fear of the unknown that <coughs> will people like it first time round for most of us, and um, the idea of a a Scottish superhero is just it's the unknown for us, so yeah, the fears are there, of course. I think that I know that was the last one, but I, I did see another hand if, or we'll, we'll, we'll catch this, this lady later if, if that's okay. Okay, yeah, sure, okay, just the one last. It was round there. There's a lady on the edge. You were talking about funding, and um, you considered doing crowdsourcing, that kind of thing. Um, one of my Sort of friends is um, our associate um, is involved in filming as well, and he is um, he uses different outlets for crowdsourcing, which is kind of inviting people like the guys here if they'd like to give a donation towards the uh, filming of, of the. Uh, We've uh, we have the idea of sponsorship uh, with regards to you can sponsor the main characters and for that you get credited within the movie and so on and so forth. I mean, we have uh, you know, went to a lot of different companies and been told no or come back when you have something and so on, which is why we've, we've went for the self-funding self, the self -funding one. But yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can sponsor any of the main characters if you feel free. If you do so, that would be lovely. And uh, Fraser, myself and the team will be around later on. We'll be, at, we'll be in the bar. <laughs> Best place. We'll be around later on if you wish to, to ask any questions. But thank you for your time. It's been a pleasure. Cheers. We are at the CCA uh, as part of the Glasgow Film Festival. It was Comic Camp Day with um, some very interesting presentations taking place. Um, as I'm sure Simon's already told you, we were showing our 10 minute sizzle reel, which you can see. Um, yeah, we were just here promoting the movie and continuing to generate buzz and uh, taking as many questions which Gavin fielded. Most of them, yeah. <laughs> it went really well. It went really well. And uh, thanks to, to you Gavin, for the technical question there that you uh, had to answer for me, which was spot on, <laughs> and you got the point as well, my man, yeah. for that. But it was really good, it went really well, um, really good to meet different people and uh, network with different, uh, different types. We had a few um, contacts made, which yeah. is very nice, we're off to make a few more as well, so yeah. um, stay tuned, you will see this eventually. The film is in post-production, we've got it down to an hour and 42 minutes.
comments. Uh, Lindsay, Gavin, and myself approved of uh, yes. on Wednesday night, um, and we're all really happy with it. So it's now off to get sound and dance music and all singing, things. all dancing. All singing, all dancing. Yes, we hopefully we'll have a screening for people in the summer. All going well, touch wood. Um, Touchwood will have a screening uh, for the casting crew anyway in the summer so everyone can see what we're up to and then we'll try and get this bad boy to the American film market in November. Double point. Double point. Double point. And the clock strikes five and we settle the storm.